Hi, I'm Carlo Libertini. In this video, we'll demonstrate vocal pitch editing in Pro Tools using the Melodyne plugin. Pitch editing is a popular form of both a corrective and creative tool in today's audio industry. Here, we'll take a look at how Melodyne's powerful and easy to use pitch editing tools can help get you started. Here, I've opened Pro Tools and imported a demonstration vocal file. Now in my mix window, I've already inserted Melodyne on that vocal track, there. We're going to transfer the vocal file from Pro Tools into Melodyne, where we can begin editing the audio. So simply select Transfer here in the plugin window, rewind our playhead, and press play. And you say, you think, I can do anything. Once I stop the playhead, the audio is analyzed and now ready to begin editing here in Melodyne's plugin window. Now, in this tutorial, we're going to demonstrate Melodyne's pitch editing capabilities. So, what I'll do is take this step by step and walk our way through some examples. What I'll do here is in Pro Tools, I'm going to drag over the very first phrase and I'm going to cycle loop just that part of the playback. And we'll begin pitch editing this one phrase at a time. Here we go. Let's take a listen. And you say, and you say. And okay. Now, in previous tutorials, we talked about the note separation tool here. Let me activate that. And just by listening back, what we're going to do is follow the pitch line, okay? And the pitch line is basically this line that runs throughout every region. And once in a while, you're going to have an anomaly like this one right here. Now I'm going to make a separation right about there and you'll see that the intended performance was actually two notes there. So once we make our proper note separations, we'll be all able to begin pitch editing this more accurately. Now one thing I can do is come over to the pitch column here on the left hand side of the plugin window. I can right click and select scale snap and it'll give us an idea of what key the song is in. What I will do though in this example is choose semitone snap because it's an a cappella performance. I want to really use my ears and I'm not following any background musical rhythm tracks. This is a solo performance. So now that we made a few separations here, let's listen again. Let me press play. And you say. Okay, so I isolated some sibilants here and I separated this part of the region where I felt that it denoted two different notes. Now we're going to come up to here. This is our second tool in our arsenal called the Pitch Tool, which is also accessible by right-clicking and choosing it there on the track plane. Now Melodyne is in pitch editing mode. If I select an audio region like so here in the beginning, it'll tell me what note it is here in the dialog box and how many cents the deviation is, minus 17 cents flat from center pitch. Every region will give me that same information. This one's zero, not bad. This one here is plus one cent sharp, and this one here minus 31 cents flat. Now, since we're in semitone snap, I can rubber band the audio, double click with the pitch tool, and Melodyne pops everything in center pitch. Let's listen to this before and then after. Here's the original. And you say. And here's the new one. And you say, and you say. Not bad. You can really hear that this note here that was 31 cents sh uh, flat before makes a big difference when we pitch correct it to center pitch. Like so. And you say. And, you and this is as easy as it gets with pitch editing in Melodyne. What we want to first do, of course, is make our accurate note separations. Let's move on to the next phrase. Now again, I'm just walking through this phrase by phrase so we can have as much uh, definition and articulation and explaining what we're doing here. Now we're going to loop the next phrase of the audio, okay? Let's hear this one. You think? All right, immediately I can see that the pitch line here is descending, telling me that it's starting sharp and going flat. I'll make a separation here and a separation here, and sure enough, it denoted two different notes. And let's try one here also, of course. Now let's zoom in just a little bit more. Now I'm going to choose my pitch editing tool here. Remember where it is? Tool number two. Select this first note, plus 23 cents sharp. Uh, let's see what we can do here. I can tell, I'm going to zoom in on this note a little bit more for us. 
that this note, the pitch line starts a little sharp and it goes flat. Let's listen and see if we can hear that. You sing, you sing, you sing. Not bad. What I could do here is, for example, underneath our pitch editing tool, we have pitch modulation and pitch drifting. Drift controls the center lane of the pitch center and how you waver from, away, or towards center pitch. As I select this note and drag, see how the line leveled itself out? Now it should sound more linear. You think? See what I mean? Another thing we can do here is, let me undo that is separate this note in half, let's say right about there. And here, I'll go back to my pitch tool. We'll see that the, the, the drifting flat actually is in center pitch. This second half of the note is actually in more center pitch than the first half was. We can also hold down our Option key on a Mac and Alt key on a PC and edit this in real time as it's playing back. Watch this. You think? You think, you think, you think, you think. Well, let's see. What I'll do is bring it down to about there. And let's see if that sounds natural. You think. Yeah, it sounds a lot better. All right, let's pitch correct the rest of this phrase. Uh, let me drag a rubber band over these notes. Double click, and there we have it. Let's listen to that whole passage. You think. Now, it sounds a little funny here at the end with the, with the think. Let me drag that back up to the tail end of that note, and let's take a listen again. You think, you think. Not bad. So let's start from the beginning and hear our new passage with our pitch edits. Here we go. Let me make that a little smaller for us. And let's take a listen. And you say, you think. Not bad. So let's move on now. We're going to keep walking our way through this performance. Now let's see, let's play cycle this phrase. I can do. Okay, let's zoom in on that phrase. Here we see that the pitch line is giving us a lot of information here. There is something very musical going on, and what we want to do is bring forth the intended performance. So let's start making some note separations to give us more pitches to work with. There's a big one there. Here's another one. Now I'm making these separations according to the pitch line. This I know is sibilance or an S right here, and I always like to separate those individually so I can, I can fine tune those more accurately separately. So there's a lot of musicality going on here. Let's see, I made some separations. I'm simply, in this example, going to choose my pitch editing tool, rubber band around this phrase, Double click and pop everything to center pitch. And let's listen to this now. I can do. Okay, so this is before. I can do. And this is after. I can do. There is a difference. Let's try that again. Before. I can do. And after. I can do. Great. So let's uh, go on to our last phrase of the audio here. I'll loop just the tail end of the phrase. And let's do a little pitch editing on this, on this one. Okay. Anything, anything. Well, let's make some separations here. Let's see, we might have one here. Yeah. Let me see if I can make that a little bit more articulate. That's better. Uh, here we go. There is a big one. There's another one. There's another one. There's another one. Now, again, I'm just walking my way through this and talking through it. Uh, there's a lot more detail and accuracy I could choose if I wanted, but right now I really want to demonstrate the pitch editing tool and focus on that. Now that we've made some separations, let me go back to my pitch editing mode, and let's listen to this last phrase again. Anything. Now remember, any note you select, this one for example, keep an eye on the dialog box. It tells us what note it is, and by how many cents sharp or flat it is. Very, very useful information. Uh, let's rubber band over these now and just pitch tune everything to center pitch and hear what it sounds like. Anything. Not bad. Here's before. Anything. Here's after. Anything. Before. 
Anything. And after. Anything. Great. Now, we walk this phrase by phrase in this performance. Let's loop the entire performance. And now remember, the audio is actually being played back from Melodyne now, not Pro Tools. Pro Tools is controlling the playback of the audio, but the audio has been transferred within to Melodyne. So let's rewind the playhead and listen to everything with our new separations and pitch edits. And you say you think I can do anything. Great. Now, another thing I want to touch upon is automation. If we look up here in the top right corner of our plugin window, we have parameters for controlling the pitch, the format, and the amplitude. Let's have a little fun. Let me go back to my mix window here. And I'm going to put this track into touch mode. Come up to the automation options here in my plugin window. Choose pitch. Hit Add and hit OK. Now we've created an automation lane in Pro Tools to read the pitch control parameters in Melodyne. And it's as easy as this. Let's have a little fun. I'm going to press play and manipulate the pitch control here in the automation window. And you say you think I can do anything. <laughs> now, of course, I'm just having a little bit of fun with it, but it's the process I want to highlight here. Now, let me go back. I'll shut my uh, uh, automation controls to read. And from the drop down, we now see Melodyne, and we have a pitch automation lane for controlling the pitch. And here we can see and continue to further edit the effect of manipulating pitch. Let's see it again. And you say you think. I can do anything. <laughs> That's as easy as it gets. Well, Melodyne obviously is a, a very powerful, creative, and easy-to-use audio editor. Once the audio is transferred into Melodyne, we have the ease and function and power of these tools at our fingertips. And you can start to see why Melodyne is fast becoming an industry standard in audio editing, not only for pitch, but for so many other editing applications. So I hope you enjoy this and get started with your own productions. Again, my name is Carlo Libertini, and thanks for watching. <laughs>